The Department of Water and Sanitation recently published draft regulations for public comments, setting out the procedure that must be followed by applicants to obtain a water use license. The controversial point which has gathered headlines thus far has been the transformation requirements which specifically relates to percentage of black ownership that will be required for a, a license to be approved. Now this peremptory or absolute requirement is most likely at odds with, with the current legislation and it's also worth noting that this proposal is still open for public comments. There's a, a 30 day period for public comments and AGBIS as well as other organizations will certainly be making inputs into the, into, into the draft legislation. Section 27 of the National Water Act does provide uh, for water reform and transformation is a critical element that must be considered by regulators when awarding a water use license. However, it must be done in a manner that's not arbitrary and it must also be weighed up with all the other factors contained in Section 27, such as the availability of water, the applicant's ability to, to use the water productively, uh, whether or not the applicant previously had existing lawful use rights to the water. And the courts have been quite clear to state that this is one requirement amongst many that must be uh, weighed up and balanced. So the manner in which it's currently written we believe is punitive which is most likely out of uh, sync with the, with the provisions of the legislation itself and it also places the full onus on ownership whereas the Black Economic Empowerment Act BE which is regarded as the country's leading legislation on transformation and the way in which a company must be measured for their transformation um, it places the emphasis on five different elements of which ownership is but one. So ownership of course has to be balanced with employment equity, with preferential procurement, so supporting black businesses through your procurement, um, as well as socio-economic development. So to a large extent we believe it's most likely out of sync with the, the current um, framework around transformation and it might very well go beyond the scope of what the legislation allows it to do. And although we also do believe that the manner which is currently phrased can be very harmful and to an extent is quite arbitrary. So whilst it is still a draft and we will, will be commenting on it. There are numerous other considerations that must be taken into consideration and to a large extent we believe that the latest regulations probably will be amended based on public consultation simply because it's at odds with the manner in which the legislation is currently formulated.